What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Welcome back to Stewart, Florida, y'all. I'm finally home. And if I sound sick, that's because I have been sick. But before I get started, I gotta give a huge shout out to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a traveler. I go all over the place. I can't even name all the places I've been in the last month. But for the last week and a half, we've been in Tennessee and Missouri deer hunting, and I just got back. Unfortunately for me, as soon as I got to Missouri, I caught, I guess, COVID or just whatever you want to call it, the flu, and I was sick as a dog. It was just me, my parents, and my son, Luke, and we deer hunted for a week. It was super fun to spend time with my family and Luke, and I ended up killing a nice buck, but I was so sick, it almost made it miserable. Luke and I finished off the trip at some science museum in Kansas City, and it was one of the coolest experiences ever. I mean, really cool for a young kid. Had a great time, killed a buck, and that was it. Now, today, Actually, tomorrow, not today, tomorrow, because today I'm packing. Tomorrow we're going hog hunting in Okeechobee, Florida with a good friend of mine, Lowell and Reagan Lightsey, and it is going to be absolutely epic. They got a bunch of hogs. They got some good hog dogs. I haven't done any hog hunting lately, but y'all are getting ready to go. But before we go, I got to finish telling you a little bit more about Helix Sleep. Now, because I have been sick, and I'm telling you right now, I'm about whooped. I'm gonna use my cheat sheet as I tell you a little bit more about this Helix Sleep mattress. So what is Helix Sleep? They make premium mattresses customized to fit your needs and conveniently ship them straight to your door. Dude, they come boxed, like one person can pick it up. You don't need to go to the store and throw one in the back of your truck or duct tape it to the top of your car. They will ship it straight to your door. They're fiberglass free and that's an awesome awesome thing too trust me this bed when you sleep in it all you're going to do is sleep no tossing and turning you're going to get the best night of sleep you've ever had another really cool thing and again i gotta read because my head's not in it right now i've been sick they have great cyber week deals available now so it's the perfect time to upgrade your mattress i'm with you on that when i upgraded to this y'all my sleep's never been better you can get 25 percent off your purchase for a limited time check out helix site for more details now, that's just their sales. I first mentioned that it will be shipped straight to your door. You can drag it in the house. It comes vacuum sealed. You can open it up and set it up all by yourself. And that is a game changer. They also offer an online sleep quiz, which is super easy because you don't have to go anywhere to buy it. You just get online, go to their website, fill out the answers on the quiz, and they will match you with your mattress. And that's how I ended up with the Helix Midnight Lux. They also offer a 100 night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure that you love it. How do you beat that deal? If you don't, <clears throat> if you don't like it after 100 days, send it back. Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. And I saved the best for last. This is how easy it is to get one. Go to helixsleep.com slash bluegabe. You can save up to 25% off your Helix mattress plus get two free pillows. Helix has a Cyber Week deals available now for a limited time. Y'all check it out. Y'all check out this place. And we are in the absolute middle of nowhere. Look at that. All right, I gotta be completely honest with you guys. I got a bad addiction. And it's really nice Can-Am side by side. Check out my brand new one. So you know I already have a blue one. It's a 2022. I traded it in for this one. This is Can-Am's new hunting edition, and it is so nice. We're here in Okeechobee at Lightsey's Family Ranch. This is actually their second ranch. This one, the Lightsey's Family Ranch that you see me film at before is in Venus. This one's north of Okeechobee. It is absolutely breathtaking. This is the first time I've ever been here and I'm about to give you guys a tour. Look at that big, beautiful lake. But look at this house they have right here overlooking that beautiful lake. Dude, it is so beautiful out here. Big, huge oaks. 
They got some open pasture, some palmettas. But most importantly, they've got a bunch of wild hogs that have been destroying their pastures, and that's what we're here for today. The funny thing is, is I was going to do an archery hunt with dogs, but I've been sick and I've been running wide open and I forgot my bow. So now we have to do it with dogs. And unfortunately, I called Lowell Roberts, who's bringing the dogs. You've seen him in a bunch of my videos, especially my hog hunting videos. And I told him I forgot my bow and he says, well, we got a big problem. I said, what? He goes, I thought you were bringing my bow or your bow. So I didn't bring my catch dog. So now not only do we have to catch the hog, but we don't have a catch dog to catch him with. So we're gonna use bay dogs and just go in there and probably get cut and catch him. And that's how we're gonna harvest him. Now I can tell you, this is my little dog Redneck and I don't think he's gonna be much hog hunting help, but he's here for moral support. The boys are down in the Keys, Crystal's in Okeechobee doing her own thing. I've got Lowell Roberts, I've got T-Dubs Travis, I've got Lowell's girlfriend Reagan who family owns this ranch. We got Lee Lightsey and they're all on their way and we are about to have an epic afternoon of hog hunting. And like always, y'all are riding shotgun. So I'm gonna jump on the side by side and I'm gonna go find Lee cause he's doing something pretty cool out here that I wanna show y'all. Yeah, you can jump on the brand new clean seats. It's okay. Look how beautiful this bad boy is. Now, if you're looking for one of these side by sides, ARS in Okeechobee, Florida. They have two stores. One's in Fort Pierce and they deal with Polaris. And the one in Okeechobee deals with Honda and Can-Am and Sea-Doo, they even offer the new um, Sea-Doo fishing rigs that you see like BA fishing on. ARS is the real deal. They gave me an awesome deal on this. I got a rebate. If you're looking for a new side-by-side, -side, check out ARS. There's one in Fort Pierce and there's one in Okeechobee. Now let's go find Lee. You ready to break her in? Let's roll. The boys just actually sent me a video. They're in, I think, Island Rada catching yellowtails. We ain't fishing here today because it's blowing about 30, but at least they're fishing. He said he's going to bring me some fish home. That's a win-win. Look at this house though. I can't get over how nice that bad boy is. Big, beautiful oaks, big old barn over here. This place is stunning. I'm driving along and this thing will not go fast at all. It's going like five miles an hour and it's sputtering. And I just realized you got to put your seatbelt on. Now watch this. Oh yeah. We in business now, folks. right there lives the life I'm out here in this wide open pasture looking for Lee somewhere he dropped me a pin like I know we're supposed to be out in the middle of the woods I'll find him soon though and I still don't see him Well, she's not even broke in yet. We're about to see how deep this ditch is. Oh, that ain't that bad. We're still on a wild goose chase for Lee. Redneck, we found him. We finally found him. You said you were 100 yards from the gate. I've been driving for four miles. That was about an hour ago. What you doing? Well, putting a little bit of fertilizer on these cypresses. Now, why did you come out here and plant all these cypresses? Conservation, Sonny. They're so you, beautiful. When you bought this ranch, you then sold the conservation rights, so now nobody will ever be able to build on it. That's correct. That's a win-win for everybody. Now, what are you going to do when a whitetail comes over here and hooks these trees down? Well, about half of them they have already, but uh, it's not killing them. It kills the tops, but the bottom's still growing, so hopefully it'll... How many of these cypress trees have you planted? 1,020. Goodness. 
So you guys here in Florida, we used to have tons of cypress trees, but when they came in and made these ranches, cattle ranches, they cut most of them down and they got rid of them. And guys like Lee are bringing it back. He spent all of his hard earned money to buy this ranch and instead of building it, he's turning it back to how it was before we were even here. That's pretty neat. Y'all, here comes the boar slayers. T-Bone. Mr. Boar Slayer himself. Yeah. Son, you need, you, we're gonna have to fix them <laughs> brakes right there. The 18 rolled you, in. What do you call that thing? Goose. Goose? Goose. Don't let him out because Redneck will whoop him. Are y'all ready to go catch some hogs? Let's go get them, old son. I'm ready. I'm ready whenever you are. I think Pops is even gonna come. Mr. Lee Lightsey like himself. He said he's gonna teach us a thing or two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Redneck, watch out. You got another half pint. Imagine if humans, when they, like, imagine if me and you walked up and I stuck my nose to your butt and you stuck it to mine, and then we went and peed on everybody's tires. Dogs. You guys, I'm so excited to be out here and just go hog hunting. We don't even have weapons. We're doing it by hand, or lol is at least. All right, guys, for those of y'all that know me, you know I'm pretty tough when it comes to my bare feet, but lol just put on boots, and I asked why, and he said the palmetters are thick, so... You got your Salerno slippers on. So that's some Lake Port loafers. <laughs> those are the knockoffs. You bought those. We're getting dressed. <laughs> yeah. Old T-Bone over here, he's even getting dressed. He looked like he's going to war though. You got some war paint on. <sighs> Reagan just come out with some bread and some fishing poles, so we're fixing to see what this lake has in it. Why are you over there? Why are you always so shy? Get over here and say hi to all your fans, Reagan. Come here. I don't have any fans. If you guys I wish I could tell you the story about when Reagan was like six months old and tell the story he's gonna tell it. Now. Oh no, it, it, this is the craziest story ever, but I'm gonna keep it PG on YouTube and I'm not going to tell it. But I got a crazy story with her, her mom, and her dad when she was about six months old. Was, whew, things got western. Where are my boots? T bum! What? What was the last time you caught a hog with dogs? You know we have no weapons. Zero. The this last is, time I caught a hog with dogs, we got was probably years. eight years ago. Well, I will say that Maybe 14 million people has watched Lowell Roberts. What is Spear it? Hurdles? One. No, oh, Lowell Roberts. He hurdles a saddle hog. You didn't even know oh, a Lowell yeah. then. No. Nope. Y'all weren't lovebirds yet. You guys, right. Reagan and Lowell, they're lovebirds. Oh, there's just no. oh. oh, look at so that. Now cute. you want to be on camera. Oh. Let's go catch some fish. All right, let's go catch some fish. Hey, you know what funny story we can say? Get a hint, hint by Is remember when we were in the Keys fishing in the tournament and you're filming me and, and I had the winning dolphin on, but your dad had the poop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope I have the clip and if I do I'm playing it right now it was one of the funnier things ever we're in a dolphin tournament in the Keys for some reason Reagan's filming me this is long before YouTube and she's just got my phone and Lee had to go number two as I have a big fish on and he's in the back screaming I can't do nothing I can't do nothing and Reagan's giggling it was literally the funniest thing ever you get it Gabe I can't do nothing I'll gaff him I'll gaff him Big dolphin and big, big turd. <laughs> I already caught a nice one. Look at the fish, though. Y'all get y'all's bait on there. Oh, there's huge tilapia. Oh, T-Bone might even catch a fish here. Look at him. <laughs> I might get lucky. Look, the dogs are stealing the bait. Oh, oh, oh you just Ooh. pulled the hook. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's already got it. Oh, oh. T Bone's up the bill. <laughs> Look at the fish. You guys, y'all can't catch a fish in here. Something's wrong. All right, all right, all right. You got it now. I think he's already ate your bait. Oh my what goodness. The heck? This is annoying. They bring you new hooks, probably. Oh, we finally got one. <laughs> what is that, anyways? Like a oh no, it's a baby, a baby tilapia. tilapia. <laughs> oh, oh, she's got a big one. Oh, he's pulling drag. 
Get him Are you even him. gaining on him though? I don't know. This fish looks as big as Redneck. <laughs> Redneck's going out there to help me get him. Get him, Redneck. Just catch him. They caught him. Redneck's got him. <laughs> Redneck got him. Oh, yeah. Look at the trophy, Ray Ray. Can we go hog hunting now? Let's go hog hunting. Okay. You got your superstar dog ready? Of course. What's what's the best dog in the box's name? Goose. No, redneck. Oh, I don't All right, know. All right, you guys, we're out here. We're about to release the hounds, and right here's why we're about to do it. You guys, Lee spends possibly a million dollars a year maintaining this place, and he does it for the wildlife, not just the hogs. And the hogs will come out here in these pastures and destroy them right now it's not very bad but certain times of the year they'll come in and wreck an entire pasture like this so this sign's not that old it's not that fresh we're going to turn the dogs out and see if they jump one thing i'm going to tell you in advance if lowell is closer to the dogs than we are he's going to catch the hog because these dogs could potentially get killed today so we're going to try to get all the footage of catching them if we even catch one but if something happens and we're not there, the hog will possibly be caught before we get to it because you can't just do it for the tube. You can't expect the dogs to stay there and fight the hog the entire time. What town are we releasing? That's a crazy joker right there. Well, get going then. Go on with your bad self. Right here's another perfect example. Look at that. Hogs can destroy a ranch so fast it's insane and it takes a long time for that rooting to sort of dissipate and that pasture to ever get flat again and if you have cows the grass won't grow there so it's starving your cows out too. So right here is a palmetto ridge that Lee saw some hogs in yesterday. We're about to see what these dogs can come up with. Look at all these pretty yellow flowers though. That dog's definitely acting like he's smelling a hog looking at the maps to see where the dogs are so right now they're kind of straight ahead of us right now 400 yards i hear one dog barking i think that's reagan superstar chasing us oh, barking up. oh they're not together Mine's 400 and her dog's 700 they probably jumped uh a pack or a pack of them they split up i mean if all else fails reagan i'll turn redneck loose Look there at him. Goes. There he goes. <laughs> he sounds like a walker hound, Reagan. It's still a little hot here in Florida, so we can't hunt these dogs too hard, but we're just getting started. They got another hour or two in them. Oh, he is about Look, to be in. A big strike one right He's about to be in big trouble. We got one bait or what? By the sounds of it, it looks like it may have broken him. the ditch we just crossed all right where they at uh oh they're right there oh yeah t-bone get ready t-bone oh, looky <laughs> what's goose doing Oh no, they're still. Us. No, they're this way. He might be on the other side, dude. Come on, Low. We'll catch you, son. I'm on duty. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah, ah, ah. Get out of that. Get out of that. Get. 
For picking, I'm sorry for picking on your dog. He just showed up. He did. He's got some teeth. Now that sound you're hearing, that's just one of their defense mechanisms. That hog's not hurt. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Is it a boar hog? It's a whole boar. We gonna cut him? Probably cut him. I got bad news for that hog. Lowell Roberts has got a sharp pocket knife in his pocket and he's about to cut his old gonads out. You want to cut him or just tie him up and take him out of here? Whatever, uh, we probably just cut him and turn him loose. Yeah. Ah, ah, get out of that. You can see how hot the dogs are. That's not a good thing. So now that we caught this hog, we're going to take him over, let him get some water, give him a rest. All right, so we just cut that boar hog and turned him loose. And if you're wondering why we turned him loose, so when there's a hog problem and you catch a boar hog like that and bar him, he's not necessarily a problem anymore because he's not going to do any breeding. And they don't actually root as much as hogs with their gonads. I don't know why that makes sense, but they will start eating acorns and other things and they don't root much. And then we can kill this hog, whatever, in a year from now and he'll be 100 pounds heavier and a lot better to eat. What we do need to get rid of though is the sows and boar hogs that we don't want to bar. So we're after the next one right now. You guys, as they call it, crap has just hit the fan. Travis and Lowell, come on, wait. <laughs> Where are they at? We gotta keep going straight, keep going straight. Travis and Lowell just broke off. The bird dog's on a big boar hog. Keep going straight. Keep and everything's right coming here. bad. Dude, how? That's on this one. The dog relayed. The He's dog on another relayed. one. Yeah, right there. another one over here. Already? Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole pack of them. Call this one. The dog turned him loose and relayed and went after another one. Dude, what? what in the heck? Oh no! Oh. <laughs> what is that? Ah, get off that! Quit. Look, look, you guys. We done got us a big one, Ray. Uh oh, here bacon seeds. Literally bacon seeds. And we just left Lowell over there with a the big hog. You guys, one thing about Lowell, you will never beat him to a hog. We're on the side by side and couldn't beat him. You got him tied? Just about us. Who's is bigger? Let me. <laughs> Ow, it just bit my leg. Hey, hey, hey. Lee, is this the hog you you bade with your dogs the other day? That's the one I want to catch there. Won't we'll, we'll have these big ones. <laughs> Look at the cut. <laughs> He's got good ones. No dogs got cut. No. And the I bird dog's know. still gone. There was a big red hog around that when we wrapped right between me. Because as you. I run around the corner, the dog took off no, with him. As soon as I got here, this is a redneck size hog. Redneck. What is he? Redneck. Size. Let me get him. Uh oh. Oh what? Get him, Lee. <laughs> all right so i'm going to show you guys what cutting a hog consists of without actually doing it we're going to do it but not right this second so uh-oh uh-oh whoa 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 watch him now watch him watch him getting up. all right so here's his gonads that's his male parts lowell makes a slit right there just a little one he actually pops the gonad out and he pulls it and pops it off he never cuts it by stretching it and popping it off it then won't bleed because the, I guess the tendon slash vein or whatever stretches and almost compresses. Then you turn the hog loose and that hog will go get in the mud. You don't have to give him antibiotics or nothing and will be completely fine within probably, I would say two weeks. He'll be back to feeding tonight. Like if you've ever seen boar hogs fight, you'll catch them with monster cuts on them. Like that right there? To, yeah, to him, he doesn't know anything happened. He, he doesn't know somebody actually cut his gonads off. Look at the huge scars. Right there. Big old thick shield. Yes, it's probably not the most humane thing, but it's what you gotta do to control the population. And we're about to do it to him and turn him loose. It's every man for himself. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> right. Woo! Baby, baby. You guys, we made it happen. Hey. Two hogs. 
in about an hour and a half and it is super hot. Woo! We're actually gonna go back to camp and cook a little bit and come back out once it gets dark after the dog's had a break and catch some more. Oh, no. Go, quick! Woo! <laughs> you guys, only I hit think, that camera. <laughs> I think I'm sick. Let me I see smell, your arm hair. I, I shaved my arm. I smell burnt hair. Yeah, my eyebrows, probably. <laughs> my God. You guys, that's how you get a campfire started. It's been raining here in Florida all week, so everything's sort of damp. We had to use some gasoline. Dun, dun, dun. Uh. You guys, here is the boss of Lightsey's Family Ranch, Miss Tracy Lightsey. This place is so pretty. Out here in the middle of absolute nowhere. Look at this. What year was this built? Oh, so it ain't very old. Look at this place. Absolutely breathtaking. View of the lake. You guys, the older I get, the less it's about the hunt and more it's about the camaraderie. Miss Tracy went and got us some pork steaks and we're gonna cook on that grill and it's gonna be good. And I'm starving. I ain't ate much. Being sick in Missouri, I had no appetite. I'm hungry now. Ray Ray, how's our charcoal look? Really good. Or our charcoal, tending. our coals, our, our oak coals but it'd probably be best to put them on before you close right now what does she is she always that bossy lol she, she knows everything also yeah. saying her first rodeo boy look at that yeah. some here. pork on the barbie yes sir <laughs> are you ready to eat t-bone absolutely i'm fat t-bone's ready for a t-bone pork bone oh pork bone leave a comment below if you guys have ever ate a pork steak like this not very many people eat them I know in other like South America they eat them a lot, but I don't, you don't see, like you don't go to people's houses and they're just randomly cooking pork sticks, but they are good. I just had pork chops in North Carolina and man, they were thick, they were good. Yeah, I mean, everybody eats pork chops, but oh, yeah. when do you see steak. somebody eating it? And that's out of the shoulder of a hog. That's where that's, they cut it this way, right? Yeah, yep. that's gonna be good. Lord, thank you for the day, thank you for this food, thank you for uh, the safety you provided for us today and just watch over us, whatever we get into tonight. Yes, it's in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You should have said an extra one for him because he's our bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. If you're interested in doing a hog hunt like this, Mr. Lee and Miss Tracy own Lightsey's Family Ranch, and they've been doing hog hunts in Florida for, like, ever. So they do hog hunts with dogs and tree stand hunts and everything you can imagine, alligator hunts, huge whitetail hunts, anything you can imagine. Lightsey's Family Ranch. Check it out. T-Bone, how's the steak? good did Lowell do okay you did all right he's learning ray ray you're not very talkative i'm eating it's good all right you guys we're gonna dig in that's it i'm leaving tomorrow more no sunday morning from magdalena bay mexico next time you see me i'll be back from mexico and we'll have so many videos to upload of what i hope will be the most epic fishing trip i've ever gone on thanks for watching thanks for subscribing but right now like jake always says it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape